in order to do this lab, the first thing you're going to do is bring up Vernier Graphical Analysis. So hit the command space bar in the spotlight search. That'll bring it up. Hit enter. It'll load. Go ahead and full screen it. Since you have the dual range force sensor hooked up, it'll already come up with the proper graph giving you your force in newtons. Then we'll want to go here uh, to mode time-based rate 50 samples. Collect on, select that. And then you're going to go ahead and put in 20 seconds for the duration. And hit done once you've done that. So now your time that you're recording for will be 20 seconds. Then you need to hold your dual range force sensor um, like you're going to when you um, pull it up. And as you do that, you'll want to go to force down here in the lower right. Click on that and go ahead and zero it out so that you're basically at zero newtons when it's in the upright position. Then when you're ready, you'll have your magnet hooked onto the metal plate. You'll hit the collect button and then you will pull up several times and then your 20 seconds will be up and you'll have a variety of data here and just make sure you don't select any outliers if something was not right on one of them uh, don't have that one that you're selecting but typically what you can do then is you can come in select the range because these all of these peaks look pretty good and once you've done that you can select here on graph tools view statistics and you can see right here if I pan down a little the max Newton value was 20.713 newtons and that was in 18 seconds. So what you'd record in your data table is 20.713. Make sure you go all the way out to the thousandths because that's uh, the precision of the instrument. And once you've done that, you can then remove some cards um, and try again with the next sample size. And in order to do that, all you do is go back up here, hit the collect button, it'll start it over, and you can make your collections.